welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a first impressions on the Give Me Glow Juicy Olive Palette. I've had this palette for quite some time now and I'm finally sitting down to film this eyeshadow look with it because honestly this palette deserved its moment in time on my YouTube channel. I have just been so overwhelmed with all the green eyeshadow palettes that have been launching. I do have a stash that I've been like accumulating because I've had a few of you request like a rank my green eyeshadow palettes video. Just so you guys know, I'm nowhere near getting to film that because I still have so many shades to test out and stuff like that. I don't know how people do it, you guys. I literally wear makeup five days a week and I still feel like I have such a long way to go and test out stuff. So anyway, without further blabbering, I do want to show you guys how I created this look. And just a small disclaimer, your very smart YouTube experience booty guru forgot to turn on her mic when she filmed all of this. So you're gonna see my mouth moving and no voice coming out. So I'm gonna try and voice over some of this stuff just to salvage this footage. I literally remember sitting here while I was filming thinking, wow, wouldn't it suck if I didn't turn my mic on? And lo and behold, I didn't turn my mic on. So here we are doing all of this all over again, but that's okay. I'm gonna make it work. So without further blabbering, let's get into how I created this eyeshadow look for you guys. So I'm starting off with using a eyeshadow primer. My go-to has been this one by Makeup Revolution and I'm just smearing it on all over my eyelids. So as my next step, I'm grabbing my favorite blending brush. This is the Wayne Goss number no. 16 brush and I'm going into the shade Dry Martini and that's going to be my first crease shade. I'm just going to messily blend that into the crease. Next shade is going on with a Sonia G brush and it's the shade Wadkatini and I'm just concentrating that in the outer half and kind of running it all over my crease as well. I kind of wanted to give every shade in this palette a shot so I decided to go in with Dirty Martini again kind of sticking to the outer half because this is a little bit of a smokier green shade and blending that into my eyelid. Okay, now we're going to test out the darkest shade, which is Cocktail. I'm going to put that in the outer corner and just keep blending that in with the Sonia G brush. And then just to clean things up, I'm going back in with my big Wayne Goss brush and just blending the crease out. So we have a nice smooth blend, no harsh lines. I love to blend my crease. Now just to add a little more depth, I'm going back into the shade Cocktails and tucking in a little more of that in the outer corner just to give it some depth. And last but not least, no eye look is complete without a beautiful shimmer shade on the lid. So I'm going in to the shade Garnish and using a ColourPop flat shader brush, I'm just adding that on. I didn't have to wet the brush or anything. This shadow is pretty pigmented. That's my favorite thing about Gimme Glow. They make some really beautiful foil shades. So as you can see, that is applying with little to no hassle. So in the next few steps, we're going to do a few things. I'm just intensifying the outer corner again. Then I'm going to add some more of my lid shade just to brighten things up and then I'm gonna do some blending again just to make sure everything looks perfect and of course we have to do the lower lash line so I'm grabbing my newest favorite Urban Decay eyeliner pencil I can't remember the shade but it's like the green glitter shade they recently came out with and then I'm just adding some shadows from the Juicy Olive palette to complete the lower lash line Okay guys, so here is the final look with the Juicy Olive palette. I had zero problems with this eyeshadow palette and zero problems creating this look. I pretty much used all the shades except this guy which is Shake and Not Stirred. 
Obviously, I could have easily substituted this shadow for this shadow. I just wanted to use one glitter on my lid instead of like trying to mix the two. They're very close together anyway in shade, so I wouldn't have really noticed a difference if I use both of them, but overall I think this is a great palette. It's a very grungy green compared to some other palettes that I have, which are more of like the lighter greens or like, I don't even know how to explain it, but I just feel like this is a very grungy palette, which I think is cool. There's people out there that really love this kind of color story. I love a more vibrant green, so if I had to, you know, pull out some palettes that I would say are more of a vibrant look like something like this green these greens are more like me because I think they like brighten up my eyes but I was totally comfortable using this I didn't have any fallout with the shadows I think give me glow is getting better and better and better with their formula so I'm really really happy with this little guy and I love that they're doing small palettes like this that are affordable I know people complain about their pan size but honestly I don't feel like they jack up their price because of their pan size, you know, I think they're still reasonably priced. So if you've been eyeing this palette, I would totally recommend picking this up and if this is not for you, wait until they do the vintage rose palette because I have a feeling that one's going to be really good. So. I'm definitely getting that. Let me know your thoughts on this palette down below. Have you already picked it up? If so, what are your thoughts? Are you thinking of picking it up or is this a total pass for you? Let me know down in the comments. You guys know I love hearing your thoughts and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.